Hi there guys, um, this is going to be another tutorial. Um, this time I'm showing you how to make your own YouTube background. Um, I've had lots of requests from different people and I've been meaning to do this video for quite some time. Hopefully um, this will give you an insight on how to um, make your own uh, background in Photoshop. Um, this is going to be a more basic one. Um, just showing you how to get the template and then working with um, te different texts and um, brushes and things like that and then maybe in a week's time I'll make a more advanced one for you photoshoppers out there that need to skip all the easy stuff um, and want to make a more advanced uh, background so to get started you want to open up your browser um, and you want to make sure if you go to Google you want to make sure you've got something called uh, screen grab and what screen grab is is a Firefox add-on and just click the first one it's a Firefox add-on which allows you to right click any page you're on and save basically the whole page and frame so you just click add to Firefox and yeah it installs within like a minute um, so once you've got that you want to sign in and you want to go to your channel and I'm going to turn this right down because it's going to annoy me um, and as you can see this is the basic um, layout for most screens if you've got a larger resolution screen um, then you'll see more of the page so if you hit control and minus you'll see you'll probably see that page like this um, you've got more area here but for most of you guys you're going to have the normal one so I'll go back to this so it will be this resolution normally um, Right now, I, my background's already edited, and I don't want to save that because when you're starting from scratch, you don't want the um, edited version. You just want the basic to make your uh, template because every channel's different. I mean, mine's set up like this because I I don't want it really really long. Um, but to change that, you just go themes and colors and just select like a blue, and that'll make everything basic. But don't save if you've already got a um, background because that'll get rid of it. Anyways, so once you've done that. Uh, so it's just themes and colours and blue or red or one of these. Right click, screen, hover over screen grab, go to save and then complete page and frame. And you'll change this to JPEG and just change the name to whatever. I'm just going to save this as, in, oh yeah, uh, save it in capital locks as well. Don't know why but otherwise it won't work. Um, do channel uh, 1 and then you want to put dot jpg which is it will save it as a jpeg file and then click save um, so then you can X out of that and as you can see it's here um, if you didn't save it as a dot jpeg in the name then it will just show a white um, image and you won't be able to open it so if that happens you need to right click and rename it completely delete everything put in capital locks what you want to call it and then dot JPG. So once that's done, you want to open this up with Photoshop. <coughs> and as you can see, I'm just zooming in a bit, uh, you've got the whole layout including the top bit which will crop out. And you've got the whole layout there. For some reason this um, this bar shows up and I don't know why, um, but it always does this and it's so annoying. But you can ignore that because it's... Mm, it's annoying but not that important. Um, Alright so you want to zoom in and you want to try and find where it starts showing blue because that's where your page starts from. So I'm going to zoom right in and as you can see the pixels will start to show. And you want to come across to the edge and you want to get the crop tool which is over here and you want to click. So as you can see it's a pixel over so I don't want to do that so control Z oh no control alt Z oh wait you have to press enter first and then control alt Z to go back um, so let me just drag this over here again and start again because you need to get it perfect like right on the mark otherwise it won't be perfect <laughs> so if you there we go I've got it perfect there so now you just want to click and drag all the way down to the bottom all the way to the bottom I wish there was a way to do this faster 
but it's what you gotta do. And drag it down to the bottom right hand corner. Like so, let go. And then you can scroll back to see what you've selected. Like that. So it's completely cut off the top and we know that's to the point where it starts. And then hit enter. So there we go. Um, <clears throat> that's now your page. Um, second thing you want to do is now you want to make um, a template. So when I mean a template, I mean you want to grab, if I just zoom in here, you want to grab each corner, um, like here to here, and then drag down to the bottom to here, because that's like the individual um, little boxes that you need because otherwise you're not going to be able to see the text because if you put an image behind that no matter what colour text you have you'll have problems so you want to make sure that it has got a slight colour around the back and the same with the subscribers the profile and everything else it might be different but this is my layout and I find it effective and yeah um, so to do that what you want to do is create a new layer down here by pressing this little tab. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know now. And you want to select this tool, and you want to make sure the feather is at zero, otherwise you're going to have a slightly rounded edge, which you do not want. Um, and then you want to... I normally start from the bottom and work my way up, um, but what you want to do is you want to zoom in, and you should have here your guidelines and if you haven't you go to view rulers so if I hide that they'll go so you want to go view rulers and make sure they're there and you want to click in here anywhere in here and drag to the point at where it stops so here because we're doing this box first and then you want to do that again going down to about here and then zoom out and then you want to make sure that you do the same for this edge and this edge you don't have to do this but I just find it a lot more precise and if you've got snap on which I have when you do select the area it should snap to the guidelines so it's quite handy so then what you want to do is click in the corner over here and drag over like that. So now it's selected that box perfectly. I think should have. Yeah. Um, and then you want to hit Control C. Oh wait, you need to make sure that you're on the background layer. And then you want to hit Control C, which has copied that. And then you go to your new layer, which you created earlier, and then do Control V. And now if I hide the background layer, you can see it's just selected that. So hide the background layer and then press control and click here and it will select what's selected, which you selected earlier. And then go to your brushes, choose any color and just brush over it in black. Just so that you know you've done that. Um, and then you can bring your other text back uh, your other your background back, and as you can see, you can move this layer around if you just select that tool there. And you can move this around, um, and that's that's one small box of your template. And you want to do that for all of them. So you want to do it for this one, this one, this one, this one. But you don't need to add. There's a little arrow bit here, but you don't need to do that. But you need to do it for this one. Um, and this one which goes all the way down, don't worry about that line, that goes all the way down, and this one. Um, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to save time, um, because it's a waste of time if I do that. Um, <clears throat> and then also this one along here, which is a light blue. Basically all the light blue, you want to do what I've just done. Once you've done that, you'll have something that looks a little bit like... Um, Where's my USB? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, I did finally find my USB. 
after digging everywhere. But um, anyways, um, yeah, this is my previous template, as you can see. And uh, if I just hide everything here, you can get a look of how it should be. So, actually, if I just unclick all of these. So you should end up with something like this. So you've got uh, this box, this box, this box, um, that box, that box, that box, that box. Um, you don't have to worry about that little bit down there. Um, so once you've got that, um, I'm actually going to get rid of all the other layers just so I can show you how to do it properly. Um, I'll keep that one there, get rid of that. Um, once you've got that, 